what you're eating. Some reduced fat, reduced sodium, organic popcorn. This is really good. It has a light butter flavor to it. I like it. And it's low in sodium. What's the other one you've been eating? This one is really good. You been eating Which that one? You been eating that one more. <laughs> Because it tastes better because it has more salt and it has more flavor in this one. But of course it tastes better because it's higher in sodium. This is two, 220 milligrams and this one is 85. So I'm trying to make the smart choice here. Reduce water retention. So this one went. is going to be on portion control and food control. Sometimes we don't realize how much we're consuming when we purchase items of whatever item we purchase. And I think sometimes we overeat. So today I'm gonna actually show you the portion sizes of the foods that we consume on a daily basis. And I'm gonna show you that, right? All right, so I'm just gonna jump right into it with the Oreos. Everybody loves Oreos and who only eats one, right? So I don't know about you, but most people eat at least the whole entire sleeve of Oreos, right? So you have your one sleeve of Oreos. Recommended serving size for Oreos only three three Oreo cookies and one serving 160 calories and 14 grams of sugar if you decided to eat this whole entire stack this is 640 calories and this whole entire stack if you one of those people who go to the gym and say if it fits in my macros and you consume whatever you want to consume this whole stack right here is 640 calories. The whole entire packet is 1,920 calories. So if you were to consume all of that, because of the sugar in here alone, and because there's no nutritional value, you will completely kill your gains, you will see no progression, and you will be one of those people that constantly goes to the gym all the time and wonder why you're not losing weight. Next we have is the Doritos. Doritos, you see this big bag? We consume more when the, the larger the bags are, the more we're gonna consume and the less conscious we are of how much we're consuming. Bag, I'm just gonna simulate how much we normally consume out of the bag of Doritos. I have my food scale here. It says about 11 chips is one serving of Doritos, which is 28 grams, but I know we consume a lot more. I'm just gonna go for three servings. I'm gonna bring the camera closer so you can see exactly what's going on right here. You know, one more gram will make 84 grams, which is three servings of Doritos. 420 calories right here. This is 140 calories in this little bag, which is 11 chips. This is one serving of Doritos. If someone was to ask you, 420 calories is a lot, but because these, cal these snacks are considered empty calories. Empty calories have no nutritional value. Our bodies function on nutrition. That's why when you hear a lot of people say, know what your macros is. Macros is the abbreviated word for macronutrient. Macronutrients is, are the macros that we consume that makes up our daily calorie intake. And if you know your macros, for your specific body type, you will definitely reach your goal. But just 
consuming food that has no nutritional value and consuming large amounts of it is it will do the complete opposite as i mentioned to you before if you eat a whole bag of doritos and say well you know what this is my daily content or this is my daily amount of calories that i'm supposed to consume in a day yes it is but you're going to be hungry after you eat this whole entire bag you're going to get hungry because there's no nutrients in it. if somebody sat in front of you and say hey can you consume 420 calories worth of i don't know maybe spinach yes 420 calories worth of spinach first of all the thought for some people of consuming that much spinach is grosses them out but to really think about it i don't think that anybody can consume 420 calories worth of spinach in one sitting. Why? Because it's high in nutritional value, it has nutritional content. So making healthier choices, that's one of the reasons why um, we stress that a lot. A lot of uh, health enthusiasts and a lot of fitness individuals stress to know your macronutrient intake. Everything is good in moderation. Everything is good in moderation, but just don't try. Just, just try not to overindulge. Know what you're eating when you're eating it. And if you're gonna have a snack, eat the serving size. All right, you guys, we have the Gatorade. Gatorade is advertised as the healthier choice, the healthier drink to consume if you wanna have a sugary drink. The Gatorade is the way to go. But actually, Gatorade in this whole entire bottle, if you're gonna consume, the whole entire bottle is two and a half servings, which is 200 calories and the whole entire bottle, that counts. One serving of Gatorade is 12 fluid ounces. So I have my scale ready, and I'm going to measure 12 ounces. That's what 12 ounces look like. And now you have the remaining bottle. Now in this 12 ounces, it's pretty cool that you can have this um, if you've already factored it into your daily calorie intake or into your macronutrients, but the sodium content alone in this drink can be very alarming. The sodium content in this drink helps to replenish the electrolytes that you're depleting during the exercise or a strenuous activity. Well, consuming too much sodium is not healthy at all. Knowing what to eat and when to eat is imperative. This would be best to drink after a strenuous like activity, you're working out, you're sweating like crazy for hours upon hours and you need to replenish your electrolytes, then grab a bottle of Gatorade. This is going to help to replenish your electrolytes. But if not, this is not the ideal drink to consume on just a sedentary day because it's not the sodium content that you're taking in won't be beneficial to your growth. That sodium will just cause water retention and further down the line may cause some health issues in the long run. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Give us a thumbs up if you like the videos, comment, subscribe below. Don't forget to follow my Instagram page, Magda Civil, and let me know what you think. If I should do more videos like this, let me know. Take care.